Christmas morning. That means... <laughs> that means it's time to get out of bed and open up some Christmas presents. Now, I'm going to be going away for Christmas since I have more going on over there. But, because you guys are here, I'm going to open a few of my presents right now. So, I guess I'll start with this one. Oh look, it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the video game. The video game? Wait a minute. There's a video game based off Rudolph? Hmm, well, I guess I'll try it out right now. You never know. A video game based off Rudolph? It could turn out to be decent. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for the Nintendo Wii, based off the classic Christmas special from the 1960s that I'm sure many of you guys have seen at some point. Now, when you start up the story mode, then you'll see that you get to play from a one or two player game. So I guess I'll do a one player game. Now after you select that, then you have a character selection, so I guess I'll start off as Rudolph. Now, after you make your character Welcome selection, then you'll see that also there's a cutscene the with Sam the Snowman. This is just like in the I'm actual Sam TV the special, but, but where Sam would come on the screen and narrate the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed oh, Reindeer. What? However, when you Haven't actually you hear him talk in the game, before? then already well, you'll now. notice that you something is a time. little off. Santa needs your help decorating his tree and filling his bag Sam the Snowman sounds well, terrible in this game. Now, granted, I understand that they couldn't get the original voice actor to play in this game since Burl Ives, the person who voiced Sam, died in 1995. But come on! The way Sam the Snowman is portrayed here is really, really awful. I mean, just listen to it. Over to Santa's toy shop and help paint the toys. Now, aside from the abominable, business goes on as usual. I'm sorry, but that is not Sam the Snowman. He did not sound that goofy and childlike in the special. No, he sounded calm and had much more meaning to his character and the way he told the story. So anyway, after that opening sequence, then that's when you actually start to begin playing. And whoop de freaking do it's a mini game. The objective here is for you to move the objects that the elf throws at you, so you can move it to wherever he tells you. Not only is that a stupid idea, but the controls are really terrible. You gotta hold the Wii remote sideways and tilt it left and right to get Rudolph to move. While doing that, then you gotta move him to the position to bounce the decorations around. It's really hard to do because of these god-awful controls. You have to really keep your Wii remote as steady as you can in order to keep Rudolph very still and sometimes because of how hard it is to tilt it in the right position can cause the decorations to drop down. Ugh. So after completing that really idiotic mini game, then you get to select your character again. This time I'm gonna go with Clarice. So the next mini game is an improvement over the first one, but that's really not saying much. Here, you gotta wave the Wii Remote up to throw the paint on each individual wooden toy that comes up on the conveyor belt. Unlike the first minigame, where the controls are really crippled, here the controls are much more responsive, but even then, there's really nothing fun about this. You just gotta wait for when the toy glows and wave the Wii Remote up. <sighs> you know, this minigame would be a whole lot better if you just point your Wii Remote at the screen to where the toys appear and press one of the buttons. The way you're doing it here is just retarded. 
there's absolutely no strategy whatsoever. All right, so now that I'm finished with that stupid mini game, it's time to move on to the next one. This time, I'll play as Hermie the Misfit Elf. Well, just like every other lousy mini game, this one is a no-brainer. Here, you are making cookies. First, you put out the dough, and you move the Wii Remote back and forth. And then when you're done with that, then you move it up and down to cut the cookies. After that, then you shake the Wii Remote to add sprinkles on top. But it really doesn't matter if you follow the instructions entirely, because just shaking the Wii Remote all together will do everything for you regardless. Yummy! Well, that's enough of that. It's time to move on to the next mini game. And for this one, you get to play as either the male elf or the female elf. Well, seeing as how I played as Hermie last time, I decided to play as the female elf. The mini game here is where you're on Santa's sleigh and you gotta wave your Wii remote up to drop the presents on each of the different houses that you pass by. If you just hit the roof, then you earn one point, but hitting the chimney earns you five points. Hmm, you know, I gotta say that out of all the mini games that I've played so far, this is probably the one that's relatively close to being somewhat decent. Not only that, but it's also one of the only parts in the whole game that was adapted from a scene from the Christmas special. Well, other than the Santa Snowman sequence. It's based off the credits of the film, where the elves are on Santa's sleigh and he drops off all of the misfit toys to the houses everywhere. This is the type of minigame that I would honestly go back and replay, because it's actually kind of fun. But enough with the fun, let's see what else there is to do after that. So you get another cutscene, where Sam tells you that Rudolph will go down in history, and then... Wait a minute, that's it? I've only been playing this for about 10 minutes, and already I've beaten the game? Seriously, you have got to be kidding me! I mean, good lord, this is absolutely stupid. All I've been doing is playing through a set of different mini games. How many? Well, Bouncy let's count. The there was the first one where Rudolph is bouncing decorations on the Christmas tree and in Santa's bag, that's one. The mini game where I had Clarice throw paint on a bunch of glowing wooden toys, that's two. Making cookies with Hermie the Misfit Elf, that's three. And the finale where you play as one of the elves to deliver presents, that's four. Yes. Only four short levels throughout the entire game. Well, what a waste of money this game turned out to be. I seriously would like to know who came up with the ignorant idea to charge 20 bucks for a stupid game like this. Also, where is the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer theme song, huh? I didn't hear that anywhere throughout the whole game. Oh, wait a minute, here it is. It's in the credits. The credits? Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Out of all the places to put the Rudolph theme song, they have to place it in the credits? Gee, it's not like they can place it on the title screen, or when you're playing one of the levels, or even completing the levels. Nope, the credits is the most appropriate place to put the Rudolph theme song. Everywhere else should just be a bunch of random stock music that has absolutely nothing to do with the actual Christmas specials whatsoever. And, once again, Sam the Snowman sounds horrible. 
I'm willing to bet that Burl Ives would be spinning in his grave if he ever saw what these idiots did to Sam's character in this game. So overall, do not buy this game. It's terrible, the music is bland, the mini games are incredibly short, and it's not very fun to play. I think the game as a whole should be left on the Island of the Misfit Toys, and this is one that doesn't deserve to be saved by Rudolph. All right, so enough with the ranting. It's time for me to go to the final score. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for the Nintendo Wii receives a score of 2.5 out of 10. Well, the good things I could say about the game is that the simplistic design and graphics looks pretty good, and it has somewhat of a feel for the Christmas special, and the minigame where you deliver presents has some overlasting appeal. The bad things about the game is that the music is repetitive and stock, there's very little substance in the levels throughout the entire game, and the voice acting to Sam the Snowman is incredibly bad. Man, just wait till I get my hands on the person who decided to send me this crappy game. Ugh! Well, okay, maybe I better calm down. I mean, after all, I still have time to open up one more Christmas present. So, let's see what's inside. Dear God, no, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be freaking kidding me! There's a DS version of this game? Why? Why do they have to make a DS version of this? And worst of all, who in the right mind would even send me both versions of this god awful crap fest? Ah! Well, whatever. I guess I'll try this game out right now. Well, already when you're at the title screen, then you'll notice that this version retains the Rudolph theme song. Now this is something that the Wii version lacked, because there, the Rudolph theme was only in the credits. Now to start the story mode, and you'll see that there's four different stories, however three of them are locked, so I'm gonna go with Rudolph's story. Now, as the game starts up, immediately you'll see that it's telling the story of how Rudolph was born and how his red nose first came into being. Just like in the actual TV special. Wow, maybe this game could turn out to be decent after all. So, as you're reading through the text, then you move on to the first part of the game, and here you're trying to get Rudolph to love you by trying to clean him, pet him, and feeding him an apple. Yeah, it's not that exciting. Plus, you gotta make sure his love for you is up all the way from the hearts up on top. Which is pretty stupid since you have all the hearts you can get even when you do start up. So I ask, what is the point? So now that I'm done with that, then I'm reading even more text. And now I'm doing another mini game. This time it's a matching game. Whoopee! Here you're using your DS stylus to match up all the different cards. It really doesn't matter how many times you do this, since you have unlimited tries, no matter what. I mean, it's not like the card matching minigame in Super Mario Bros. 3, where you can only have two loses for each time you do this. So here in Rudolph, it's way too easy. Well, looks like I was wrong. This game is not decent at all. In fact, it's even worse than the Wii version. Yes, the whole story sequence that tells the story from Rudolph's Christmas special seemed like something that would work, but here it doesn't. In fact, this is the only thing you're gonna be doing throughout the whole entire game, looking through the storybook and playing all of these horrendous mini games that are so easy, even a five-year-old could play this. It especially gets boring when you see that this entire storybook tells you everything that happens in the Christmas special. From the scene where Rudolph was born, to where we first met Hermie, to where they landed on the island of misfit toys, to when Santa asked Rudolph to guide his sleigh for him. But as for these mini games, well, let's see what else you do. 
There's one part where you have Rudolph race with the other reindeer. You should win this as long as you repeatedly tap the touchscreen. Yeah, way too easy. There's also another one where you have Rudolph dropping presents at other people's houses. This is one of my personal favorites out of all the other minigames, but that's really not saying much. And there is one where you have to fill in a coloring book? What am I, five years old? Why should I have to play a minigame where I have to fill in a coloring book? In fact, this is what a lot of these minigames consist of. There's one where you have to find Yukon's gold buried under the snow with question marks. Yeah, way too easy. Another one where you're doing crosswords, all with the same words that are incredibly easy to find. And one where you're placing decorations on a Christmas tree. It also gets really boring when you see that you have to play the same mini games over and over again. Actually, I don't think they should really be called mini games. They're more like activity games for that matter. This is the type of thing that only a two year old would have trouble with, which is why I have to ask this question. Are they trying to market this game towards babies? Well, I guess they are because of how ridiculously simple this is. Plus, playing these activity games is also mixed with being told the entire story from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Christmas special. Again, that is completely pointless because if I want to actually know what's going on in the Christmas special, then I would actually watch the Christmas special. Another thing about this game that's annoying is that crappy MIDI version of the Rudolph theme song. Yes, I know I already mentioned in the beginning that it's good to see the Rudolph theme song appear in this game, but after it's playing constantly, then it gets really, really annoying. Now, there are times when the music would change to have a holly jolly Christmas during some of these mini games, but other than that, you're just listening to the same music again and again. Now, you could turn the music off in the options menu, but it still doesn't make up for the rest of this terrible game. So after you're playing through all these ridiculous activity games and reading through the storybook, then you get one final part where you're singing along to the Rudolph theme song and, oh you have got to be kidding me, do I really want to do this? Well, not really, and you don't even have to do this either, because even if you don't sing along, then it's still going to tell you at the end, you sang beautifully. Ugh, you got to be kidding me. So after completing the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, then you unlock another story, this time starring Hermie the Misfit Elf, and oh my god, this one is retarded beyond belief. Here, Santa is making you, as player one, an honorary elf. He gives you an elf badge, and whoop dee doo you have to make one yourself through another one of these stupid coloring activity games. God, these minigames are boring as all hell. And so with you being this <clears throat> honorary elf, you are being assisted by, of course, Hermie. And with you being assisted by him, then you gotta help set up his dentist's office and help clean teeth with your stylist. Also, because you're an elf, then you're going to elf school and you're just doing the same stuff again and again. Playing the same activity games again, the same stupid coloring books, and decorating Christmas trees. Ugh, it's incredibly boring. So I decided to finish playing through that god-awful elf story, and after that, then, you know what, I'm done with this game for good. Yes, I am aware that there are still two more stories that I still did not read, but you know what, just forget it. I've had enough torture with this god-awful game. Just please, do not buy this game for the love of god. It's boring, the activities are simplistic as hell, and it's not even worth it. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for the Nintendo DS receives a score of 1 out of 10. Well, the positive thing I can say about this game is that it has sort of a cute atmosphere that you would remember from the Christmas special. But the bad things is that the mini games are way too easy and not very fun. The music is very repetitive and you have to sit through an hour of each storybook, and all in all, it gets very boring very fast. 
Be sure to check out the official Blip.tv page for Blue Luigi's video game reviews by going to blip.tv slash bbgr. It has all the episodes uploaded in order and uncut, so you can watch them there. And it's also going to be where the reviews are posted first before it's shown on YouTube. Also, be sure to check out the Facebook page for DSL Productions and click the like button to follow some news on some of my upcoming videos. The link is right here in the URL, so go check it out. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Remember, as long as your stocking does not contain Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for the Wii and the DS, well then, you should be good. So, have a happy holidays, and I'll see you in 2012. And worst of all, who in the right mind would even give me boom? Why? Why do they have to make a DS version of 